Hey there, I'm Ari, and welcome to my corner. Um, yeah, I know my videos are far and few between at this moment, and that's because I'm just not doing them, which I know I really should. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna start off by talking about what I'm drawing, and then I'll get into the point of the video, which is sketchbooks. Uh, I am. I'm drawing my D and D character Kiddo. Um, his name isn't actually Kiddo. It's just what people call him because he doesn't actually know his name for other reasons. Um, but I am drawing him in both of his di split personalities. One of them, well, he's, he's a 13 year old boy, so. Um, one of his personalities is very cute and, um, you know, fudge. <laughs> he says fudge a lot. He's like, fudge that. So, and then the other one will swear and hates everything. So, I drew both his personalities and I hope you enjoy it. Um, but the point of today's video is, um, the, uh, the fact that I hate sketchbooks. I really don't actually hate sketchbooks. I think they're a great place to practice and to refine ideas and make sure you have a character design down before you actually decide to like use it for something because you have the ca character the way you want it so um, it's not like and you can redraw it as many times as you need to make sure it is right so that's, I find sketchbook's very useful. It's just, I don't like every sketchbook. Um, I find sketch some sketchbooks I like more than others. Um, like, as there's some sketchbooks that I open and I like instantly, and there's other sketchbooks I open and I don't like, and I, as I use them, I grow to like them. Um, the sketchbook I'm using currently is an example of that. Um, that sketchbook, I think I bought it from a Kohl's. Um, I started using it and I did not like it. I didn't like paper or anything. It doesn't hold markers very well. Like the markers bleed a lot. Water doesn't stay in it very well. It also wrecks the paper. And um, nothing really works well on this paper besides pencil and probably graphite. Actually, no, I know graphite works well because I used the graphite stick on here in this video. Never mind. Um, but, uh, but even pencil, depending on the type of pencil you're using, doesn't work very well. Like my mechanical pencil, if I press down very hard in certain spots, it will go through the paper. This isn't my favorite sketchbook, but I am determined to not waste a sketchbook. I'm going to use all of the sketchbook pages. I, I feel when I start a sketchbook, I need to finish it, but, um... Some sketchbooks I find it when I once I open them I'm very inspired to use them. This one is not one of those sketchbooks. I open it up and I just have to force myself to draw, which is not something you should have to do. But then again, I'm also trying to draw every day. It doesn't work out every day, but I try to at least do one spread of my sketchbook a day so that way it'll get done faster. I've done a lot of swatches in the sketchbook to try and get it done faster. So, there's a lot of swatches in this book. I actually went through all of my art supplies and swatched everything. The Dio got rid of the stuff I didn't like or didn't work anymore because I forgot about it and have decided that um, that was a good way to use up some sketchbook pages. But now I have nothing left to swatch. So,. I got like this small chunk of the sketchbook left and I gotta get it done, so I'm trying here. Um, but point, um, sketchbooks are good. I really enjoy sketchbooks. I think they're a good place to practice, especially if you need practice with anatomy or with posing or thumbnailing ideas for drawings or paintings or testing colors out to make sure they work well together. Um, I think sketchbooks are really good useful for stuff, but um, everyone has their own personal opinion of what type of sketchbook they want. Um, I personally 
didn't like this type of sketchbook. I like sketchbooks where I can also use my markers in them or if they're like a tone sketchbook. I enjoy those ones as well. Um, but I don't like things that bleed and I, I don't like paper that I'm just referring to just a pencil with because I like to add color to my sketchbook. I think it um, gives it a little extra oomph. It makes me more inspired to work in it if I can flip through it and see some colors as well. So far, when we flip through the sketchbook, the only colors are mostly swatches and the occasional page where I decide to grab this ink spray I have and just spray it on the page, which also ruins the drawing on the other side. I learned that the hard way. But there's not to say that there isn't some things while using the sketchbook that I found out that I liked. Um, like in this drawing, I did something I hadn't thought about doing, which was um, using my mechanical pencil to sketch and then using a graphite pencil. Um, uh, oh, it's a charcoal pencil, excuse me. And I went over some lines to darken them and then I shaded a bit and everything and I thought it looked really nice and I'm going to probably continue doing that with some sketches and sketchbooks that I think I would ruin if I tried to line them and color them so um I learned something that I liked so um it's always fun uh I'm not very big of a black and white person but if when it comes to it I can do this and I really like the look of it um yeah so Experimenting is also a good thing to do with sketchbooks, which is a good reason to have one. I always have a sketchbook, it's just, again, personal preference. Some people like certain sketchbooks more than others. I personally don't like the sketchbook I'm working in now, so that's why I'm a little eh about it. But I, um, I figured I would explain my thoughts. Um, I have also a DD sketchbook still started. Um, but I'm going to, uh, uh, finish that with as my normal sketchbook after the sketchbook is finished, so that way I'll only have one sketchbook started, because a lot of the stuff I do draw is D&D related anyway, or is character related, so it's just easier if I have one sketchbook, so I will be, uh, starting to do that as soon as this one is finished. I'm going to start off with, um, my D&D sketchbook and finish that off. And then I'm going to continue to finish off sketchbooks as I can learn them. Um, and I may also be um, stopping doing uh, monthly challenge sketchbooks all to, them, uh, all to themselves. I may include them in my, my monthly challenges if I decide to do them like Inktober. I may just uh, put them in with my normal sketchbook, which could be interesting. It could be. We'll see. I just need to get rid of some of my sketchbooks and it's really hard when you have like more than one sketchbook started to design so this is why I'm trying to make it so I only have one but I'm hoping you enjoyed watching me do some random doodles and fill up a whole page and draw that really cute boy in some overalls because I love those overalls I'm so happy I drew him in them like oh my god kiddo is so cute Anyway, before I continue to gush about my boy, um, and so I hope you understand what I mean by I hate sketchbooks. I tend to hate sketchbooks when I first start them, but after a while I do get used to the sketchbook I am using, and I, um, become accustomed to it. Like, I've been accustomed to this one. Not that I like it very much, but I've come accustomed to using it, so, um, but the next sketchbook I will have will be a little different. So uh, I look forward to that. Uh, but um, if you enjoyed my video, you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be appreciated. And if you um, have some constructive criticism, you could leave me a comment in the comment section down below, that'd also be appreciated. And if you like this video and want to see the rest of my videos coming up, um, I don't know what you're getting next. Hopefully a video about my friends because that's one I really want to make. Um, you can uh, subscribe. Click the little. You do not need to click the bell. That is 
not necessary, but you can subscribe, and you know, I have a shit ton of other videos, and mental health videos, and you know, all the other fun stuff, so you could, uh, take a gander, if you was there. Uh, but I will, uh, see you guys next time, hopefully next week. <laughs> uh, bye.